humans have asserted themselves over animals since the beginning of time, domesticating the helpful ones and scaring away or culling the dangerous ones. While most of the time this relationship is positive, sometimes humans overstep their mark, being cruel, violent, or invasive to the animals around them. Other times, animals are paraded around in zoos or circuses, forced to perform and do tricks under horrible conditions. Every now and then, these magnificent beasts snap, attacking their owners or random bystanders with sheer ferocity. But who can blame them under that kind of treatment? So when nature's assassins come looking for a fight, how do you think humans stack up? Do we deserve that spot on the top of the food chain, or are we all potential lunch? Around the world, there are around 40 bear attacks every year. And while Eurasian brown bears and American black bears have been known to attack humans, there's only one type of bear that's 20 times more aggressive than its nearest cousin, and that's the grizzly bear. Maybe the name is just a coincidence? Stephen Miller certainly thought so. That's the name of the American animal wrangler and stunt double whose favorite pet was a 7.5 foot tall, 700 pound grizzly bear called Rocky. Rocky was a bit of a movie star, having recently appeared in the 2008 film Semi-Pro, ironically playing the part of Dewey the Killer Bear. Just seven weeks later, Steven was filming a promotional video with Rocky and his cousin Randy when the unthinkable happened. During a planned wrestling move, Rocky began his attack too early, prompting Randy to strike him with a cane. This strike enraged Rocky who sunk his powerful canine teeth into Steven and began thrashing him like a ragdoll. While Randy and other staff rushed in with pepper spray, the damage had already been done. A pierced jugular artery and carotid vein meant that Steven had bled out within minutes and was pronounced dead at the scene by paramedics. Shark Attack Every year, around 60 people are attacked by sharks worldwide with 10 people either being eaten or succumbing to their injuries after Bruce takes a bite. Thankfully, not all sharks are bloodthirsty monsters. In over 500 species of sharks living in our oceans, there's only 11 species that have confirmed body counts. Most of the unprovoked fatal attacks happen courtesy of the big three, the bull shark, tiger shark, and the great white. And they're known for taking little curious bites to eating swimmers whole. Spear fishermen are often terrorized by bull sharks and tiger sharks, and if it weren't for quick reflexes and a big pointy stick, he'd be missing pieces. But it's the great white shark who gets all the headlines. From Jaws to Finding Nemo, this massive beast of the ocean can grow up to 20 feet long and easily swallow a human whole. This was still the case during the 2015 World Surf League's J-Bay Open in South Africa. Australian surfer Mick Fanning was out in the water, waiting for the next set of waves, when he suddenly felt something pull against his board rope. After a flash of grey fins and churning water, it was obvious a great white was interested in the champion surfer. Terrified, Fanning punched the shark in the back of the head before signaling for help and swimming for his life. Apparently, humans are back on the menu after sharks decided fish are friends. Lion Attack There are two types of cats on the planet, those that you keep as pets, and those you'd rather not cross paths with. Lions are definitely one of those cats you wouldn't want to keep around the house. They're wild animals and stress out in small confined spaces and often lashing out unpredictably if they feel threatened. Or you could be like this guy, who tried to reenact Daniel in the lion's den with a little less success. Circuses, magicians, and MGM have tried for decades to tame lions, but Simba isn't doing backflips on cue for anyone. So when German trainer Joe brought his lion Ken to the Berlin Lion Awards, wild instinct took over, and the big cat launched at Joe's leg in front of horrified onlookers. It took several cane whips and disorienting pepper spray to finally release Ken's powerful jaws. Joe was able to hobble away to safety, and they switched Ken back to cat food. Leopard Attack They say that a leopard can't change its spots. I guess that's also true for its killer instinct. 
Every year, around 29 people lose their lives to leopard attacks across Sub-Saharan Africa, Northeast Africa, Central Asia, India, and China. While leopards aren't normally fond of people, during periods of drought or when food sources become scarce, they can wander into villages and towns looking for an easy meal. In 2016, a male leopard searching for food entered the grounds of a school in Bangalore, India. The big cat chased terrified men around the private school swimming pool, leaping on them and mauling them as they tried to escape. The leopard was finally tranquilized and removed. Leopards are often relocated after straying too close to urban areas, but even letting them go free comes with its own challenges. When repeatedly poked by a stick, instead of taking his freedom and running, this leopard decided to exact some much-deserved revenge by leaping through an open window and going straight for the jugular. Fortunately, the driver was able to kick this carnivorous kitty to the curb. Elephant Attack it's hard to picture the huge, gentle elephant attacking and hurting anyone, but the placid pachyderm can notch up to 500 human kills in a single year. That's right, Dumbo is a hardened serial killer, and he's coming for you! While elephants frequently raid villages or croplands in South Asia, humans aren't generally the primary target. Unless you go to the circus, that is. A lifetime of abuse, neglect, and mistreatment can make elephants hate their masters to the point they fight back. Remember, an elephant never forgets. On August 20, 1994, in Honolulu, Hawaii, a 21-year-old African bush elephant was performing her regular routine for the Circus International when something snapped. Years of excessive beatings had taken its toll. Tyke trampled her groomer in front of a packed audience, critically wounding him. Tyke's trainer attempted to save the groomer. He too was knocked to the ground before being crushed to death under Tyke's trunk. Tyke then ran out of the arena on a 25-minute rampage before finally being subdued by gunfire. Tiger Attack Tigers are responsible for taking out around 85 humans a year. Although numbers recently in India have been rising sharply due to urban encroachment. The odd thing about this ferocious kitty is that when unwell or injured, a tiger will often spontaneously change its diet to be human only. Terrifying, right? Fortunately, most attacks and accidents happen in a zoo or safari park. Like when this woman, in a drive through wildlife sanctuary near Beijing in China, got out of her car for reasons unknown. Within seconds, an adult tiger grabbed the woman and dragged her off screen. Her husband and mother-in-law went to try to help, and although they successfully rescued her, the mother-in-law was fatally wounded as a result. Zookeepers aren't safe either. Never turn your back on a streak of tigers or you'll end up being pulled apart by a whole family. Eagle Attack Eagles are nothing short of aerial snipers using their eagle eye to spot prey hundreds of feet on the ground below, only to swoop in and collect them with their razor-sharp claws and vice-like grip. But every now and then, eagles fancy something a little different, and a small toddler looks perfectly appetizing. This golden eagle swooped on a family in Montreal, collecting the young infant with its claws and attempting to take off. The airborne killer obviously overestimated how much his meal weighed, because after a shaky hover, he dropped his booty and made a run for it. Killer Whale Despite their ominous name, the killer whale isn't usually known for attacking humans. In fact, we've been good friends with orcas for some time now. They're a highly intelligent animal capable of learning complex tasks as well as engaging in simple communication. Normally, they're found anywhere around the world that the ocean waters are cold enough. But some killer whales eventually find themselves as the star attractions in water parks, like SeaWorld in San Diego. Unfortunately, SeaWorld doesn't have the best reputation for how they treat their captive animals. And on November 23, 2006, a 17-foot-long, 6,000-pound female killer whale named Kasatka finally had enough. During the finale of their live show at Shaw Stadium, Kasatka grabbed her trainer, Ken Peters, by the leg and swum underwater, pinning him against the pool floor for almost a minute before finally allowing him to resurface for air. 
Just when you thought the nightmare was over, Peters was dragged underwater again and held for another minute before finally being released. It wasn't the first or last time Kasatka attacked a human, but after almost a decade in captivity, do you blame her? And that's all the time we have for today. Do you think each of these attacked humans deserve their treatment? Are we kind enough to animals? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that big red button right now. See you next time.